Hey team, hope you guys are doing well. In this video, I'm going to be going over how to navigate through the Patreon page. If you have just joined in, welcome to the team. First of all, I just want to congratulate you for taking action and being a part of this group. Usually when you join a group like this, things can get very overwhelming. There's a lot of information. You're not sure what to watch, what not to watch, what to do first. So I'm going to be going over everything step by step. And then after you've gone through the process, from there on, you can make your own decisions of how to navigate through the pages. If there's a video that you should watch from beginning to end, it should be this one. Now, I'm going to be going over five things. First, our expectations on this page. Second, how to navigate through the Patreon page. Third, joining the Discord group. Fourth, navigating through the Discord group. And lastly, talking about the weekly trading series. First of all, this is not a day trading page where I send out daily buy and sell signals, but this is a place where you will make money as long as you invest wisely, smartly, and you will come out as a winner as long as you manage your risks. If you manage your risks well, it is very hard to lose money in this space as long as you know what you're doing. Now, I do swing trade time to time, so I do share my swing trading strategies in terms of like what I buy and when I plan on selling them. But majority of that information is posted on the Discord group, and it's usually best to just buy and hold during a bull run. Also, I don't really do price predictions in this group. Instead, I do a lot of technical analysis, use a lot of different indicators to help me know when the market is overextended or when the price targets have been met. During those times, I'll usually sell and I'll also let you guys know when I do plan on selling. Just always understand that no one can really truly time the tops and the bottoms, but there is a lot of money to be made in the middle. So don't worry if you ever feel like you've been left out or you feel too late, there's always opportunity. Now, the crypto market as a whole is a very speculative space, so it's going to be extremely volatile. Nothing goes up in a straight line forever. Things go up and things go down, so it will be a roller coaster journey. Uh, but as long as you don't panic sell, you hold and you buy the dips that have strong fundamentals, then you will come out as a winner. If you are new to this journey, things can get a bit overwhelming, so make sure you guys take it one day at a time. And if you have any specific questions, feel free to message me. Now, once you have joined the group, feel free to scroll down and see previous posts and watch them. But this can get overwhelming because you don't really know which one to watch first, which one you should watch, shouldn't watch. So instead, what you can do is you can look at these boxes where I categorize certain topics. There are three more, portfolio, crypto course, and weekly trading. Within market update, that is where I give a market analysis on where I believe the market's at and what I am expecting. So I do use some technicals there. Buy and sell, I usually share what I bought and what I plan on selling. I kind of move this over to the Discord group, so I'll share more on that later. The strategy tab has content content on how I would consider navigating through the markets and strategies that you can consider implementing through your investing journey. For the resources tab, these are content that you can watch any season. So if you just joined in, I would consider watching through this first. It has things like what I use, what indicators I use, uh, the tools that I use. So resources and strategy, I would watch those first. For technicals and market update, those are more time sensitive topics. So you don't really have to watch old market updates unless you want to still learn from them. If you click on three more, you'll see portfolio. This is where I give monthly portfolio updates and what I'm holding, why I'm holding them and price targets I'm looking out for. I also go a lot of technicals within my portfolio. Now for the crypto course, I'll be hosting it outside of Patreon. But as I finish content and videos, I'll be posting it on the Patreon group for you guys to access and watch ahead of time before I get it out to the public. And lastly, we have the weekly trading series. This is where I use my own analysis alongside with a platform called Token Metrics, and we create a portfolio or an index within Pionix. Pionix is an exchange that we use to rebalance portfolios, uh, but every single week I will send out a new list of what to buy, what to sell, what to keep. Because this is a trading portfolio, it should be a very small portion of your portfolio. Now on the main dashboard, you should be able to see a message button. You're not able to see it on mine because I'm the creator. It should say share and message. And when you click on message, you can feel free to message me anytime, ask any questions you may have. Next, you're going to have to go to discord.com and download discord. If you're not familiar with what discord is, it's sort of like telegram or Facebook messenger, but with a ton of great features. Now it's important that you join the discord group because I would say like 90% of the times the activities happen there where I share my buy and sell signals, my strategy, technical analysis. I don't want to flood the Patreon page with a bunch of information 
information. So the Discord group is there to keep everything organized and simplified. If you look at the welcome post, you'll be able to see join the Discord server, click here. Once you click on that, you'll be able to see this post to guide you through step by step on how to connect your Patreon and Discord. You can click here. You should see something like this. You will click on connect or it'll automatically have connected it for you. Because the Discord is connected to your Patreon membership, it should automatically sync. The moment you leave the Patreon, you will also no longer have access to the Discord group. And then once you open up Discord, you should automatically be connected. Now, sometimes it can take up to 30 minutes for it to sync and connect. So just wait a little bit. And if it doesn't connect after that, uh, just message me. And we'll try to figure things out. Next, I'm going to go over the Discord, the tabs, and what they're used for. Under the general tab, this is an open chat room where all members can just communicate and talk with one another. Uh, sometimes it can be about how they feel about the markets or share certain things. So if you have any general information or general comments, this is the place to do it. Or if you have any general questions, you can ask it here as well. But if you have more specific questions, you can click on ask a question tab. Now under here, you can ask questions to team members and team members will answer them. Or you can tag me like we did over here. White lines ask Eddie Moon, any insights on Ren? And then usually I'll reply to those types of comments under here. But these are more public questions that you don't mind asking. Under real time buy and sell over here, this is where I share all of what I buy and what I sell, my plans. Like about a week ago, I got into Elrond and kind of shared my plans with Elrond. Recently, I've been accumulating Luna. So that's one. Yesterday, I bought some Ethereum, Cardano, Link. And usually I'll post a lot of buy signals, very little sell signals. And then there will be a time when the market will be overextended. And that's when I'm going to start posting just sell, sell, sell. On this tab, no one else can comment it except myself. Same over here with technical analysis. This is where I'll kind of share more technicals on each coins or coins that you guys might mention. Like last week, uh, when Cardano, Bitcoin, and Ethereum were all under this kind of descending wedge uh, before the breakout, uh, it was a great time to enter when Bitcoin was at 42K, Ethereum at 2,900. So this is where I'll post specifically about technicals now under everything i use you can see all the applications all the platforms that i use in case you were ever wondering if i ever use something new i'll post it here as well under crypto news i post any articles within the crypto space that i find interesting there's a ton that comes out every single day but i try to stick with the few that are meaningful and that we should know as a team and under token metrics weekly series this is where i share my rebalance bots and what i buy what i'm selling for example on October 1st, this was my bot. And then on uh, October 4th, this is how I rebalanced my bot. And usually every single Monday, this is where I post the rebalanced bot, what I bought, what I sell, and kind of my plans. Now for the weekly trading series, you do not have to follow it, right? You can use it as reference, as a resource, because by nature, trading does have a lot more risk than just buying and holding. But the goal of this trading series is to try to outpace the return of Bitcoin. If you choose to follow this or you want to trade, make sure it's a very small portion of your portfolio and that you you are not using all of your funds for this. I would say 5% is a smart idea, but no more than 10 if you ever want to be aggressive. Now, I use a platform called Token Metrics. Uh, I use the premium plan. It does get a bit pricey, uh, but under insights, there's a section called indices. Right, and right now it's set to weekly, which is kind of what we are doing right now. And every single week, what Token Metrics does, it recommends certain tokens to buy that week and to trade that week. So under Binance, the exchange, it is recommending these five tokens here and every single week these change it will also recommend a certain weight for the portfolio and it'll be similar or different to other exchanges let's see for example on kucoin we can see that it is recommending terra cosmos and these three coins which i'm not familiar with but if you've been following these weekly indexes that they recommend the top yellow line is the return of the index and the bottom is the return of bitcoin so if you've been following this index since July, you should be up around 200%. Whereas if you just bought Bitcoin, you would be up 50%. Now you're probably thinking if that is the case, what's the point of holding Bitcoin? Why not just trade, right? The thing is, there is no guarantee. Well, let's say that we start our index around mid September over here. Well, we would have been in a constant downtrend in the reds, a little bit up, but regardless, still till this day, this index is in the reds, right? Whereas Bitcoin, we were up here around 38% and it has increased all the way to 55%. So it would have been better to hold Bitcoin here 
rather than trading. And so that's why you want to trade with only a small portion of your portfolio and you should have your holding portfolio. Of course, this index is going to be volatile, but the goal is to do consistently every single week for about a year. And that is where you'll see results. Now I use an exchange or platform called Pionics. This is where you can build out your own rebalancing bot. That means that you can buy multiple coins at once and automatically every five minute, 15 minute, hour, four hour, it'll rebalance the portfolio for you. So how this trading series works is I will go into each of these indices and see what they are recommending for that specific week. And then what I will do is see what coins are available within Pionix. And then I will do my own research on the coins that are recommended, do some technical analysis, measure risk to reward. And every single Monday on the Discord group under the Token Metrics Weekly series, I will share what I bought, what I sold, what percentage I set them at. And so if you want to copy them, you can, or you can use it as a resource to help you with your investing or trading decision. Again, you do not have to follow along with these weekly trading series, but if you choose to make sure you guys understand there is risk involved and you use only a small portion of your portfolio. Well, that'll be all for this welcome video. Hopefully it was helpful. If you have any specific questions, you can ask me either on the Patreon or the Discord group. I try not to work on the weekends, so Saturdays and Sundays, but you can still message me, but I won't get your message until around like Monday or Tuesday. Welcome to the team and excited for our investing journey together.